BJP's Mizoram in charge Mohan Lumo Kekon has made a big claim post the announcement of the poll dates for the hill states. Speaking to Northeast Life editor in chief Vazbir Hussain in the show Northeast tonight, Kekon said that some MNF and ZPM candidates are in touch with the BJP. Mr. Mohan Lumo Kekon, uh, Mr. Kekon, uh, you know, what how many, first of all, I want to hear from you, how many, is the BJP taking this election seriously? Uh, how many seats are you contesting? Waspir, uh, thank you for asking the question. In the first place, we were waiting for an announcement of uh, the election because it's uh, <coughs> for, for the uh, tickets where we are going to contest. Uh, I would uh, like to inform our friends here uh, uh, in the next one week or so, you will see even some, you know, because some of the people whose names have been declared as candidates by MNF, the game and all, are in touch with us. So we are also a little confused at the confidence of our friends, but uh, that will be seen in the next uh, one week or so. And uh, let's uh, listen in to what MNF leader and Mizoram Minister Robert Ramavia Royte had to say on Kikon's claims. Mr. Monlomo Kikan of the BJP has made a big claim. He is saying that uh, although the MNF and the ZPM has uh, announced their candidates, several of these candidates are in touch with the BJP. Uh, this is a big claim made by, made by Mr. Kikan. What do you think? Let me tell you very clearly that none of the MNF, MLS, family candidates are in touch with the BJP. That is for sure. The, 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 that is very clear. And I don't know whether <laughs> we will the, see. M, the MLA candidates from the PM and uh, other parties are in touch with BJP or not. But it is not the case with uh, MNF. At a time when the greater Mizoram or the unification of ZO areas seem to be emerging as the biggest poll plank in the state, AICC media in charge Mizoram Matthew Anthony said that the party was yet to take a call on the issue. 40 seats being contested by all the political parties, the voters, the electorate in Mizoram will have a lot of options to choose from and still you are confident. Yes, confident. And uh, this evening, as a Mizo, as a resident of Mizoram, I am really upset and, you see, surprised to know that the Congress party has no comment, has no say, has no policy, has nothing to say about the much, much uh, prevailing issues of Mizo integration, which uh, imp implies many, thi many things. And I am really sorry to hear that Congress has nothing to do with it. And they are still indecisive in this regard. Let me tell you once again, Mizo National Front, from its birth in 1961, its number one agenda, agenda and aim is unification of Mizos across the globe. And if you see the manifesto of 2018, uh, manifesto of MNF party, the number one manifesto by that time was Integration of Mizos. Right, right. Uh, and you see, it is the it is before, be, be much before the outbreak of communal violence. It is much much before the outbreak of Manipur issues. It is the absolutely, inherent, absolutely uh, uh, issue yeah. that all the Mizos are longing for. Meanwhile, our MNF leader Royte lashed out at the Congress for its alleged vague stand on the ZOO unification issue. Royte also made it clear that for the MNF, the integration of Mizos has been the top priority since inception of the party. Another major issue that is, uh, uh, you know, emerging as a major issue in Mizoram following the, uh, you know, Manipur conflict 
ease the demand for a greater Mizoram or reunification of the Zo community. Uh, now, MNF has openly backed this. They have, in fact, they are raising this issue. Now, what is the stand of the Congress on this? The Congress party party in this matter, and we will make a party line, and then at that point of time, we will make it clear to all of you. Okay, you you are not going to comment on it right now. Uh, right now, not. Meanwhile, the BJP and the Congress also informed that they will contest all the 40 seats. Uh, we will be contesting all possible uh, <coughs> seats available, like 40 seats. And we will be declaring our uh, uh, list of candidates a very short while. It has been announced just today, election. Okay. And we are preparing, uh, yeah. Mr. Anthony, how, how many seats uh, is the Congress uh, planning to contest? Uh, have you come up uh, with... 40 seats. Sorry? The 40 seats, the entire 40 seats. Entire 40 seats. Contested by the Congress.